Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Thursday, December the 23rd, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Aquarius? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. Your star, Aquarius. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot on the deck for Aquarius. Spirit. The strength. Leo energy. Taming the beast inside. Having the strength to get through challenging times. First card out. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. This is new, honest, clear communication. You're having a discussion, having a talk with someone. What is crossing this? The money. Seven of Pentacles. The money tree. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I like the uh, skull. Abacus. This is watering your money and watching it grow. Money. Consciously known. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Passion. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands. She's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. Unconscious. Five of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is talking about fighting, arguing, drama. He's got a match on fire. I don't know if that's supposed to be gaslighting. Fighting, arguing, drama. Recent past. The victory card. Six of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Are you dealing with a fire sign? It's like you are in a parade, people on the sidewalk, clapping, cheering. Um, you might have some kind of uh, social media presence, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever else there is. Um, people are watching you and admiring you, watching you in a good way. Near future. Toxic person. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Person is toxic. Liar, cheater, thief. Um, this person is uh, an addict. Alcohol, drug, sex. Uh, toxic. I don't like this person. I don't like this person. But if you know they're coming, you can avoid them. Where do you find yourself? Four of Wands, 11-11, this is a party card. It's like a rehearsal for a wedding, rehearsal for a hand fasting, party, uh, increase in level of commitment in a relationship. 11-11. External influences, Nine of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, you see this person coming. This is sleepless nights. This is having dreams. This is lying awake. Um, thinking what you could have, should have, would have done differently. Well, I'll tell you what to do differently. Cut this person out of your life before they come in. Hopes and or fears. Six of Swords, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. There was some pain here. I see it. And you're moving into choppy waters, moving into better, better times. Yeah, you know this person. Overall outcome. The star, your star, Aquarius. Okay, well, I know. You're not going to entertain this person. You are the star. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. What are you wishing for? 
Decide now so that it comes to you. You deserve someone just as fantastic as you are. Don't settle. Don't settle. Bottom of the deck, the strength. Leo energy. This talks about taming the beast inside. Also talks about um, having the strength to get through things that are challenging. The hermit. The hermit. Oh, good. The hermit. This is Virgo energy. There's that star in a jar. This star. I love the casket. This is talking about taking some time to, to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Yeah, you're not, you're not letting this person into your life. Ooh, we got soulmate energy here. King of Wands, King of Passion. Wands are fire energy. There is Leo Sagittarius, the King of Wands. He's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. Soulmate energy. This is not sneaky. This person is a narcissist. You got their number. The world. End of a cycle. End of a cycle. I see it. I think you're not letting this person into your life, and I think you're smart. Ooh, the sun. More Leo energy. The sun. Happiness, joy, bliss. There is the gorgeous sun. A bluebird. We got sunflowers people playing guitars happiness joy bliss yeah you're not letting this person in new honest clear communication the money tree queen i'm gonna steal this king right now queen and king of wands the victory card increased level of commitment moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters you are the star the strength, yeah, you're not letting this person in your life. Rest, relax, recuperate. End of a cycle. Happiness, joy, bliss. There, um, yeah, this person is only going to bring drama into your life and give you sleepless nights. So cut them out now. Oracle cards, a leg up, let your friends help you. Yeah, trust in your friends. They won't let you, they won't let you uh, fall for this. The land of milk and honey. Hey, beautiful things are coming in. You are the star. You have the sun here. Bottom of the deck, orphaned. Yeah, that's how you're going to feel if you let this person in. You're too smart for that, Aquarius. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You wait for that king of wands. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Majors. The Hierophant. Commitment. Engagement. Marriage. I like this. King and Queen of Wands. And you have, we had the 11-11 card, which talks about this. Oh, and... The wheel of fortune. This is the wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. This is success. Okay, I like it. Honest new new honest clear communication. The money tree. King and queen of wands. The victory card. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Increase in commitment. You are the star, the strength. Rest, relax, recuperate. End of a cycle. The sun, happiness, joy, bliss. A leg up. Milk and honey. Orphaned. 
Stay optimistic about your love life, forgiving and learning, calling in your soulmate, commitment. And where was my other major? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune, success. All right, Aquarius, I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.